As an entrepreneur and a business owner, I would say if you have an idea and you truly believe in it and you think that there's a need in the market for it, just go for it and uh, just start. Do it. Tell us about what you do. Sarwa is an online investment platform and a personal finance app. We help people invest their money into international markets. And we have two core products. One is Sarwa Invest, one is Sarwa Trade. Sarwa Invest is hands-off investing that gives you access to globally diversified portfolios of exchange-traded funds. And we have a range of risk profiles and also a range of products from conventional portfolios to socially responsible portfolios to halal portfolios and crypto invest portfolios, which gives you exposure to 5% in Bitcoin. We also have Sarwa Trade, which is a zero commission trading platform where you can buy and sell thousands of stocks and exchange rate traded funds on the US exchanges. And as we go, we're adding a lot more products and new features all the time. How has Sarwa leveraged its digital infrastructure to make investing more accessible, low cost, and intelligent without undermining the human element? Today, everyone looks for practicality and convenience, and that's exactly what we provide at Sarwa. You can, uh, you can open an account in just a few minutes, so we actually use technology to make the process so much faster, more intuitive, more efficient, and also to lower cost. And that ultimately reflects really positively on the net returns of our clients. But at the same time, because we are very customer centric, we also believe that as much as technology is important in streamlining the whole process, you still need to have access to a human uh, whenever you need to talk to someone or you are looking for advice. And that's exactly what we offer in Sarwa. What has been the biggest challenge so far? I would say it wasn't a challenge, more of an opportunity that we actually saw and used because the reality is when we had the whole 2020 pandemic happening, a lot of people thought that technology-based companies are going to really face a big challenge in terms of not being able to right away talk to clients. But the reality is because we are built to be remote from the get-go, we're able to actually service our client even much better while still providing a lot of education and a lot of empowering tools across the platform and also be there for our clients. And that's one of the reasons also where we saw, you know, as I mentioned before, uh, a big surge in growth. In many ways, Sarwa has democratized investing and as a pioneer in the sector, how do you aim to amplify your reach? So our vision and our main differentiation is we are building a one-stop shop for everything money management. And the way we're actually looking to expand our reach is through new products, new features, really listening to the market and anticipating the needs that our clients have. In today's world, you know, you don't just want to actually meet expectation, you want to be uh, go beyond and exceed expectations. So in terms of, of growing our, our base, uh, we have, of course, a lot of strategies and also that uh, includes growing brand awareness and market reach, but also really talking to our clients and building an amazing community because we truly believe that our clients are our best ambassadors and that's one way to actually grow our base really quickly and reach as many people as we can. Can you tell us about your expansion plans that are in the pipeline right now? The core market for Sedwa is currently the UAE and we are growing in this market really fast and keep adding to our database, you know, uh, exponentially. Now we do have clients from everywhere in the region and our aim is to reach everyone in the region as much as we can. We have people coming from across different countries and we do plan on expanding beyond the UAE, of course. That's definitely part of the strategy that we have in place. How important would you say is creativity in managing Sarwa? And do you think it's an undermined skill in this field that sees creativity from more of a left brain perspective? Uh, I do think that for to grow a business and to market your business, you need both art and science. And you really have to have a very data-driven approach and analytical approach. But at the same time, creativity sits at the core of what we do. Because a brand is about 
telling a story and the community around it uh, really connects to the experiences that they have with it, the memories they built, uh, the exchanges they have. So it's all about how do you actually position yourself through storytelling. So it's both, I would say, it's both really art and science. What's the best piece of advice you have received? As a leader, um, as an entrepreneur and a business owner, I would say if you have an idea and you truly believe in it and you think that there's a need in the market for it, just go for it and uh, just start. Do it and don't overthink as long as you also have a good support system around you. One of the biggest misconceptions people have about investing that it's uh, difficult and it's not easy to start and investing does not need to be complicated and anyone can do it. Ultimately, what's really important is to consider the four rules that we always refer back to, which is start as early as you can, diversify, uh, don't let your emotion get a hold of you, know, of you and disrupt a sound plan that you have in place and ultimately also look for platforms that are low cost and regulated.